Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> You sure that's Jesse Wheat's buggy coming yonder? I got eyes like an ego box. That's his buggy, and that's Jesse driving it. Good. I wish you'd tell me what we rode down here to meet him for. Look, kid, we've been together six months, ain't we? Sure. Another month or two, we're going to be rich. <laughs> Not riding for Jesse Wheat, we ain't. We're just about through riding for Jesse Wheat. Huh? Let's wait for him here. You mean you're going to tell him we're quitting? I ain't going to tell him nothing. What we're going to do ain't none of his business. You're sure a hard man to understand sometimes. You'll learn. Oh, look at Jesse. He's kind of mad already. What are you men doing clear down here? We're going in to Dodge, Jesse. I know you ain't. I ain't paying you to spend time in Dodge. You just been there. I had business there. Now you men turn around and ride back to the ranch and get to work. For a man that don't carry a gun, you talk mighty loud, Jesse. I don't have to carry a gun. Don't you? Look at mine, Jesse. Point that thing the other way. No. Now, look, quit fooling. I don't like it. I ain't fooling. What you doing, Box? You just going to make him mad going to kill him. Now, look here. I've had enough of this. You put that gun oh, away. shut up, Jesse. Be... You shot him. Of course I shot him. What for? You're always asking questions. He wasn't even armed. He didn't do nothing. That, that's murder. Nobody will ever know. But why'd you do it? You wanted to get rich, didn't you? What's killing Jesse Wheat got to do with that? You'll see. You're in trouble, murdering Jesse like that. You're really in trouble. No more than you are, kid, if they catch us. Don't you ever forget it. But I didn't know you was going to do this. That don't matter. Now we'll get that horse started for home, and by the time he and Jesse get there, we'll have our alibi all set in Dodge. Nobody will ever know where or when this happened. See how smart? You stick with me, kid. Where are we going now, Box? We're going to set our alibi with a man who's going to be more interested in this business than anybody in Dodge. Who's that? Standing right up there. Oh, now, wait Shut a up, kid. I'll do the talking. Hello, Marshal. Uh, hello. Well, I guess you don't remember us, Marshal. Uh, no, I don't. Well, we only been in Dodge once before. I'm Jim Box, Marshal. 
My friend here is Rod Alice. Oh, uh, how do you do? Hello. We worked for Jesse Wheat, Marshal. We was to meet him here, and we can't find him no place. Well, I saw Jesse last night. Maybe he's gone back to the ranch. That'd sure beat all, telling us to meet him and then forgetting all about it. Oh, that Jesse's getting too old. Why, we've been looking for him the past two hours. Box. Shut hey, up. Hey, Box. Like I was saying, Marshal. No. no. No, look. Well, I'll be. That's Jesse's buggy. Going into the stable there. Yeah, and there's nobody driving that buggy. They sure ain't. But it's Jesse's. Well, let's go over and take a look. Huh? What for, Marshal? Jesse ain't there. You too. Come on. Kind of funny. Horse and buggy and nobody driving it. I sure hope nothing's happened to Jesse. Don't you, Rod? It'd be awful. How long you men work for Jesse Wheat? Ooh, some six weeks, Marshal. He's sure a good boss. We like him fine, don't we, Rod? He treats us real good. Whose stable is this? Moss Grimmick runs it, but he's not here right now. Now, yeah, there's the buggy. Look there, Marshal. Why, it's Jesse. Well, he must be sick or something. Yeah. He's dead. He's been shot. That's terrible. Now, who'd have done that? I can't understand that horse coming back here. Why wouldn't they hear gone on home to the ranch like any horse would. You say you've been working for Jesse six weeks? Well, sure. And you ought to know his brand. Say, that ain't a XL horse. No, it isn't. Belongs to the stable here. Jesse told me last night that his horse went lame. I never noticed the horse. It don't matter, Rod. It's a good thing that horse brought him back here. Now the marshal can get to work fast and find who killed him. We'll help you, marshal. We sure don't like old Jesse getting shot. Well, you can help me get him out of the buggy. But I'll handle the rest of it. It's not your trouble. This is it, l and filters. It stands out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. Yes, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M stands out for flavor. 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 The miracle tip draws easy. You enjoy all the taste. L&M stands out for effective filtration. 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 No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip. L&M's got everything. It's America's best filter tip cigarette. What, Chester? Jesse Wheat was a whole lot older than his wife, wasn't he? Uh, didn't you ever meet her? No, sir, I never did. Yeah, Anna Wheat's about 22. Jesse was in his late 40s. Yeah. Maybe she'd done it. What? Killed him. Maybe it was her because he was so old and all. Chester, you remember the tracks back there just before Jesse's buggy turned around and headed back to Dodge? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They was two horses stopped it, wasn't they? That's right. Well, then it must have been them fellas, Jim Box and Rod Allison. Maybe. Oh, look, there's Anna on the porch. You must have seen us coming. Say, hey, she is young. I hope she's already heard about this. Well, let's get on here, Chester. Yes, sir.
Hello, Anna. Hello, Marshal. Uh, Anna, this is Chester Proudfoot. How do you do? How do, Miss Wheat? Uh, did uh, Jim Box and Rod Allison show up yet? They told me about Jesse. He was a good man, Marshal. He treated me like a daughter. Uh, well, uh, did you know anybody who might have had a reason to kill him? Well, of course not. Jesse didn't have any enemies that I know of. Uh, how did he get along with uh, Jim Box and Rod Allison? You don't think Rod had anything to do with it? Well, all right. What about Box? Uh, any trouble with him? He's different from Rod. I don't like him. But there hasn't been any trouble that I know of. Uh-huh. Where are they now, Anna? Oh, they rode off somewhere, out with the cattle, I guess. Does uh, anybody else work for you? No, just them, Marshal. But they said they'd stay on here on the XL as long as I want them. And right now, with all the stock, I really need them. Yeah, sure. Will you come in for some coffee? You and Chester? Well, uh, thanks, Anna, but uh, next time maybe, huh? We've got to get back. Well, so long. Bye, Marshal. Goodbye, Chester. Bye, Miss Wheat. Well, we sure didn't learn much from her, Mr. Dillon. Uh, not much. Ain't we going to wait and talk to them two fellows again? No, it might make them jumpy, Chester. I want them to feel safe. They made one mistake. They'll make another. <laughs> It was hard to believe that two cowboys like Jim Box and young Rod Allison wouldn't have noticed the horse Jesse Wheat was driving wasn't his own. But I guess when you're murdering a man, you got other things on your mind. It was a bad mistake, however. And from then on, I was ready and waiting to move on him. My first chance came about a month later when I heard that some XL cattle had been driven to Dodge and were being sold to a buyer named Jake Worth. So Chester and I walked down to the loading pens to have a look. There's Jake over yonder, Mr. Dillon. He's talking to some fellow. Yeah, that's Jim Box he's talking to, Chester. Oh, I couldn't tell his back to us. I wonder where Rod is. Well, we'll ask him. Hello, Jake. Well, hello, Marshal. Chester. Hello, Jake. Those, uh, XL cattle you're buying? Only 30 head, Marshal. Uh-huh. Did, uh, Rod help you drive him in, Box? Last night, Marshal. Now, where is he now? He went back to the ranch this morning. Why? Jake, uh, what are you paying for these steers? We well, just settled on $20, Marshal. $20. Now, it's 30 head. That'd come to uh, $600, wouldn't it? What are you trying to say, Marshal? You think there's something wrong with my selling them steers? No. No. Not as long as Anna Wheat gets the $600. Now, wait a minute here. I took it for granted she knew about this sale. You got such a smart Marshal. Take a look at this, Jake. Looks okay, Marshal, but you better read it, too. Here. She's given him full authority to sell the stock and collect the money. Of course she has. Well, you're through reading, Marshal? Yeah, yeah, I'm through reading. You want to apologize? Jake. What? Anytime this man sells XL cattle to you, I want to know about it. I'm going to tell every other buyer and dodge the same thing. That ain't much of an apology, Marshal. Come on, Chester. See you later, Jake. Sure. My gracious, that box is awful mad, Mr. Dillon. Well, he ought to be. I just ruined his game. Yeah, but couldn't he run off with the money one of these times before you checked with Anna? Nah, he's too smart to become a cow thief for a few hundred dollars, Chester. Now, he wants more than that. Well, he can't get it now, can he? Well, he couldn't. How? By killing me. Do 
evening, Marshal. What'll it be, sir? Uh, nothing for me, Sam, but I'll take a glass of beer over there to Miss Kitty. I got it right here, sir. Okay. Yeah, it's on the house, Marshal. All right, Sam, I'll tell her that. She's the only girl in here that don't drink whiskey all night long. Well, she claims it makes her drunk. In my whiskey would make a buffalo drunk. <laughs> I'll tell her that, too. There you are, Kitty. Compliments of the house. Where's yours? No, not tonight for me. Ah. Well, the place looks kind of quiet tonight. That suits me. Yeah, well, you won't get rich in an empty saloon, Kitty. I won't get old, either. <laughs> Kitty. Hmm? Why don't you quit and marry some nice young fella and settle down on a ranch or something? Ha. Huh. Oh, what's wrong with that? I've lived on a ranch. The women work harder than the men do. Well, don't they everywhere? Not in New York. At least so I've heard. Well, why don't you go to New York, then? What are you trying to do, Mac? Get rid of me? No. Oh, of course not. I, uh, just like to see you happy, that's all. I'm happy. You're the one that's doing all the complaining. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. You're like a man trying to ride two horses at once, Matt. They do that only in circuses. Not practical anywhere else. No, nah, no, nah, Kitty, you know I'm a simple man. Tell that to somebody who doesn't know you. Like Jake Worth. Jake Worth? No, looks like he's come to tell you something. Oh, Mm -hmm. Evening, uh, Miss Kitty, uh, Marshal. Hello, Jake. Jake. Sit down. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, it's all right to talk in front of Kitty, ain't it, Marshal? <laughs> it doesn't matter, Jake. She finds out everything anyway. Now, what's on your mind? Jim Box. Oh? Uh, remember a couple of weeks ago how you told me to report any sales of XL cattle? Yeah, sure. Well, he ain't sold none since then, but... You're right. He's a crook. Well, how do you know? He come in this afternoon and offered to sell me some 500 head. That's about all the cattle Anna Wheat owns. Well, maybe she's selling out. No. Box says I can have them real cheap, providing I don't tell you about it. Oh. Now, what did you say, Jake? Well, I said I'd take them. He's hired a couple of men from somewhere, and they're driving the herd in the day after tomorrow. I told them the Santa Fe would have cattle cars ready by then. Uh-huh. All right, thanks, Jack. Uh, them two men he's hired, uh, they can probably ride good enough, but they ain't real cowboys. Well, I'll go out tomorrow and have a look at them. Well, I'm glad I ain't got your job. Not going against them gunmen. <laughs> How are you, Miss Wheat? What brings you out here, Marshal? Uh, where are the men, Anna? Oh, they're out on the prairie somewhere. They'll be in for supper. Huh? All of them? You mean both of them. Uh, Jim Box and Rod, the only men here? Of course. Why? Oh, nothing, nothing. Is there something wrong, Marshal? <sighs> yeah, plenty. Then I'd better tell you something. Rod and I are going to get married. What? We fell in love when he first came here. I told Jesse about it right off. He understood. Jesse was a sick man. I guess he figured he wouldn't live very long anyway. All he asked was that we'd wait a while. But we didn't do anything wrong, Marshal. Look, Anna. I'm here to arrest Allison and Box. What? One of them murdered Jesse. They both had good reasons. Oh, Marshal, you can't. Not Rod. I know him. He wouldn't do that. Take a chair by the window, Chester. We'll wait for him.
L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Everything. Best flavor? L&M stands out for flavor. The Miracle Tip draws easy. Let you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white Miracle Tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobacco? Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L&M tobaccos. Light and mild. Every way, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. They've got everything. King size or regular, L&M is America's best filter tip cigarette. Chester. You better come here and take a look. Huh? There's three of them. Yeah. Well, they must have left one man with a herd. And it was Rod. That's Jim Box and two strangers out there. Rod isn't with them? No. Thank heaven. That's no use, I know. We're going to have to find him anyway. Not if Jim Box kills you, you won't. Chester, hmm? take Anna out to the kitchen. If she tries to warn them, stop her. Yes, sir. I'll hide here by the door. And if they get me, you do what you can. I'm sorry, Marshal. I didn't really mean what I said. That's okay, Anna. Come on, Anna. Sure. And wait there. I won't be long. Anna. Anna, where are you? I'm in the kitchen. Come in here. I'm busy. You come out here. Put the gun in a wheel. Drop it, box. Gonna shoot me in the back, Marshal. Drop the gun. I don't trust you. You got him, Mr. Dillon. Get out of the way, Chester. His men will be here in a minute. Hey, they're running off. Let's go get our horses, Mr. Dillon. No. Let them go, Chester. Well, we can catch them easy. I got nothing on them. It's Rod I want. Did they get away, Marshal? Now, they won't stop till they hit the Rocky Mountains, Anna. You... You killed Jim Box. Yeah, I had to. Now, Rod's all alone. He's the only one left to blame it on, isn't he? I tried to take Box alive, Anna. Anna! Anna! Rod! No, Anna, wait! No! All right, careful now, Chester. He'll use her as a shield. Oh, I won't shoot, Mr. Dillon. Rod! Rod, what's the matter? Now what? Don't shoot him, Marshal. Well, it looks like he's already been shot. Are you hurt bad, Rod? I ain't gonna die. He was lying on the floor here when I came in, Marshal. Got his gun, Chester. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna use my gun. Well, I'll take it anyway. Now, who shot you, Rod? Box did. But I got away. Well, why would he shoot you? I found out he was going to steal Anna's cattle. And I started an argument. He shot me, but I got away. I was riding up from in back there when I... When I heard the shooting. You see, Marshal, Rod hasn't done anything. Rod, who killed Jesse? What difference does it make? You'll never believe me anyway. Don't now. talk like that. Tell him. They'll hang me, Anna. I never done it, but they'll hang me anyway now. Marshal? Yeah. Is that true? What he says? It could be. If I charged him with it. 
Well, what are you going to do, Marshal? Tell me. I'm going to leave Chester here to help you take care of him till I send Doc out. And when he's well, well, you bring him into Dodge. You mean to jail? Well, you might stop by. That is, if you want me at the wedding. star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. Today, there's one filter cigarette that stands out from all the rest. L&M stands out for flavor, for effective filtration, for highest quality tobacco. L&M's got everything. That's what makes it America's best filter tip cigarette. Try L&M, king size or regular. I know you'll go for them. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Handley and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Sam Edwards, Eleanor Tannen, Vic Perrin, Don Diamond, and Frank Cady. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Smoking with a smile, with Chesterfield, smiling all the while, with Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. Put a smile in your smoking. Next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember this. In the whole wide world, no cigarette satisfies like Chesterfield. Listen to Chesterfield's two great radio shows every week. The Perry Como Show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Dragnet, Tuesday nights on another network. Remember, listen again next week for another transcribed story of the Western Frontier when Marshal Matt Dillon, Chester Proudfoot, Doc, and Kitty, together with all the other hard-living citizens of Dodge, will be with you once more. It's America growing west in the 1870s. It's drama. It's gun smoke. Brought to you by L&M Filters. This is the CBS Radio Network.